Michael Jackson's sudden death on June 25, 2009 was a shock to many around the world. He passed away due to acute propofol intoxication, which was later ruled as a homicide. His personal physician, Dr. Conrad Murray, was found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. Prince's death shocked the world after the singer was found at his Paisley Park compound in suburban Minneapolis on April 21, 2016. He was found unresponsive in the elevator. Whitney Houston tragically died on February 11, 2012. She was found deceased in a bathtub at the Beverly Hilton Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. John Lennon was fatally shot by a deranged fan on December 8, 1980, outside his residence, the Dakota in New York City. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, passed away on August 16, 1977, at his Graceland home in Memphis, Tennessee. He suffered a heart attack. Dolores O'Riordan, the iconic lead singer of the Cranberries, passed away on January 15, 2018, at the age of 46. Her death was ruled as a tragic accident due to drowning caused by alcohol intoxication. Janis Joplin, the iconic rock and blues singer, was found dead in her Los Angeles hotel room on October 4, 1970. She was just 27 years old. Her death was ruled as an accidental overdose. Karen Carpenter died on February 4, 1983. As a beloved singer of the Carpenters, her struggle and untimely passing at the age of 32 highlighted the severe impact of eating disorders. Easy e whose real name was Eric Lynn Wright, passed away on March 26, 1995 due to complications from AIDS. Easy e was a pivotal figure in the rap group NWA. Lisa Left Eye Lopez, a member of the R&B group TLC, tragically passed away in a car accident in Honduras on April 25, 2002. She was driving a rented SUV when she lost control. She was 30. Christina Grimmie, a former contestant on The Voice, was just 22 when she was fatally shot while signing autographs after a concert in Orlando, Florida on June 10, 2016. Keith Moon, the legendary drummer of The Who, passed away on September 7, 1978. His death was ruled an overdose. George Michael passed away on Christmas Day in 2016 at his home in Goring on Thames, England. The coroner confirmed that he died of natural causes. Brian Jones, a founding member of the Rolling Stones, was found dead on July 3, 1969. He drowned in the swimming pool at his home, Cotchford Farm in East Sussex. Jerry Garcia, the legendary frontman of the Grateful Dead, passed away on August 9, 1995, due to a heart attack. He was in a residential drug treatment facility in Forest Knolls, California at the time. Onlia, the talented R&B singer and actress, died in a plane crash on August 25, 2001, at just 22 years old. The crash occurred shortly after takeoff from Marsh Harbor Airport in the Bahamas. Marvin Gaye, the legendary soul singer, was tragically shot by his father, Marvin Gay Sr., on April 1, 1984, just one day before his 45th birthday. John Bonham, often referred to as Bonzo, was the powerhouse drummer for Led Zeppelin. His sudden death on September 25, 1980, at the age of 32, led to the disbandment of Led Zeppelin. Dwayne Allman, the talented guitarist and co-founder of the Allman Brothers Band, tragically died in a motorcycle accident on October 29, 1971. He was riding his Harley Davidson when he collided with a flatbed truck. Mama Cass passed away on July 29, 1974 at the age of 32. Despite initial rumors that she had choked on a ham sandwich, it was later confirmed that she died of a heart attack. Jason Jam Master J. Mazel, the influential DJ of Run DMC, was tragically murdered on October 30, 2002, in his recording studio in Queens, New York. 
Patsy Cline, the legendary country music singer, tragically died on March 5, 1963, at the age of 30. She was on a flight back to Nashville after performing at a benefit concert in Kansas City when the plane crashed near Camden, Tennessee. Billie Holiday, the legendary jazz singer, passed away on July 17, 1959, at the age of 44. Her death was primarily due to complications from cirrhosis of the liver, from drug and alcohol addiction. On February 3, 1959, a tragic plane crash near Clear Lake, Iowa, claimed the lives of Buddy Holly, Richie Valens, and J.P. the Big Bopper Richardson. Known as The Day the Music Died, a phrase popularized by Don McLean's song, American Pie. Freddie Mercury's death on November 24, 1991, was a significant loss for the music world. He passed away from bronchial pneumonia resulting from AIDS. His powerful voice and charismatic stage presence made Queen one of the most iconic rock bands of all time. Jimi Hendrix, one of the most influential guitarists of the 1960s, was found unresponsive in his girlfriend, Monica Daneman's apartment at the Samarkand Hotel in London on September 18, 1970. Jim Morrison, the iconic lead singer of The Doors, passed away on July 3, 1971, at the age of 27. He was found in the bathtub of his Paris apartment by his girlfriend, Pamela Corson. Scott Weiland, the former frontman of Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver, passed away on December 3, 2015. He was found dead on his tour bus in Bloomington, Minnesota. Sam Cooke's death on December 11, 1964, remains one of the most mysterious and controversial events in music history. He was shot by Bertha Franklin, the manager of the Hacienda Motel in Los Angeles. Joe Strummer, the iconic co-founder of The Clash, passed away suddenly from cardiac arrest on December 22, 2002, at his home in Somerset, England. Adam Yauch, also known as MCA from the Beastie Boys, passed away on May 4, 2012, after battling parotid gland cancer. Rapper Lil Peep, whose real name was Gustav Orr, tragically passed away on November 15, 2017, due to an accidental overdose. He was 21. Peter Tosh, a legendary reggae musician and a founding member of the Wailers, was tragically murdered on September 11, 1987, in Kingston, Jamaica, during a home invasion. He was 42 years old. Leonard Cohen, the legendary singer-songwriter, passed away on November 7, 2016. His death was sudden and unexpected, occurring after a fall at his home in Los Angeles. Chris Cornell, the lead singer of Soundgarden, was discovered deceased in his Detroit hotel room on May 18, 2017, following a performance with his band in the city. Bob Marley, the legendary reggae musician, passed away on May 11, 1981 in Miami due to a rare form of skin cancer known as acral lentiginous melanoma. Selena Quintanilla Perez, often referred to as the Queen of Tejano music, was tragically murdered on March 31, 1995 at the Days Inn in Corpus Christi, Texas. She was shot by Yolanda Saldivar, the president of her fan club. She was 23. Lincoln Park fans mourned Chester Bennington's passing on July 20, 2017, was a deeply tragic event for many fans around the world. He was found dead at his home in Palos Verdes Estates in California. Singer Elliot Smith was found dead in his home on October 21, 2003 in Los Angeles. He had suffered a stab wound to the chest. He was 34. Nat King Cole, renowned for his smooth voice and timeless hits like Unforgettable and Mona Lisa, passed away on February 15, 1965 at the age of 45 due to lung cancer. Fans of Nirvana still mourn the passing of Kurt Cobain, who died in Seattle on April 5, 1994 at the age of 27.
Amy Winehouse, the singer-songwriter, was 27 years old when she passed away in her London home on July 23, 2011, from alcohol poisoning. David Bowie passed away from liver cancer on January 10, 2016, just two days after the release of his 25th studio album, Black Star. The music industry was stunned by the death of Tupac Shakur, who succumbed to gunshot wounds after a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas on September 13, 1996. Less than a year later, on March 9, 1997, the notorious B.I.G. passed away after being shot four times in a drive-by shooting in Los Angeles. Nipsey Hussle, born Ermius Joseph Asgadam, was an influential American rapper, entrepreneur, and activist from Los Angeles. He was fatally shot on March 31, 2019. John Denver gained immense popularity in the 1970s with hits like Take Me Home Country Roads, Annie's Song, and Rocky Mountain High. Tragically, John Denver passed away on October 12, 1997, in a plane crash while piloting his own aircraft. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the content and want to see more, remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you never miss an update. Until next time, take care and we'll see you soon.